What is up, boys? I am sick. <laughs> I see it as me taking all the pain of the suffering of the world and the universe onto myself. So you guys can be perfectly okay. You know, I'm going to write this in my journal, but... I don't know, like, I should have been somewhere today. I have to be disappointed with people. I need to send texts now. People are waiting on me. I'm not showing up. You know. Oh god, okay. What a headache. I'm gonna drink my multivitamins. I. Was really looking forward to going to my friendship today. And I couldn't. And it is embarrassing. I think to myself, all these people can be disappointed in me. And I also think to myself, like, my mom sees me as a lazy piece of shit. Can't really do anything. Look. My quad level oil. Omega 3. With an AMD. 60 caps. Now I have. I got exactly one vitamin Minuka Plus vitamin C high strength immunity boost pill. Unfortunately, sick, so I think I should spend this try time trying to upload some videos, edit some videos. But even then, I, I have to say, I have to admit the truth. I don't even know if I have the power to do it. You know, I wish I could be one of those guys that, like, in regards of my emotions, in regards of how I feel, in regards of how I am, I can still work. Some shit, and it's in the water. I pinpoint that immediately, giving myself an excuse just to cop out. It is not the first time I've I'm legitimately sick. But since I haven't shown up in a while, like it's just embarrassing to even be sick to have health issues. And it's not too late, I can still go, but it's smart for me not to go. I slept at home, you know, I got a thought again. Oh, these depressing walls, they, they come in on me. With a thought then, it's immediately met with, just get money and a life worth living. Is this a life worth living? No. I mean, yes, I have a wonderful mother, I have a wonderful place to be in. I have everything a fucking 17, teenager kid would want. I got that set up. It's not a gaming setup. Surprisingly. Monitor, monitor. I only have this monitor connected in. These aren't turned on. I have all the worldly desires. The only thing I'm missing is like a the ultra gaming PC. No. I'm glad that I didn't get the ultra gaming PC. I'm glad that I didn't. In, invest into that because to me it had I did I would have been further like deep down the sinkhole of instant gratification gaming all that type of shit and I'm glad I can only you know use my phone for work use my tablet for reading use my laptop for the occasional YouTube video but mostly for work I'm very glad all this exists because if I Because if I didn't do that, even if I didn't, what was I saying? Did I didn't do what? What do you mean? I didn't.
Um, had I had bought a PC, I don't know why it would be interesting. I want to make money, but my actions have shown otherwise. I mean, there's a, there's a difference between want and one, right? How badly do you want it? You just want it, and then you're like, oh, and back to procrastinating. Even reading books can be a form of procrastination. Or you're like, I really want it, and you work extremely, extremely hard in order to get it. There's a clear difference. I had a nightmare, and I think my nightmare fucked me up. Should have went back to sleep, but I decided to stay awake, try to do some work, and then I wanted to stay awake even more. And I'm going to sleep again. I'm trying to time my sleep. I slept for like I, I slept for four hours, nine to one, four hours, and then I slept again at four a.m., four to eight, eight to thirty, being an hour and fifty-two minutes, an hour and twenty-two minutes to be awake, and I'm going back to sleep to rest. Trying to get them texts out. I don't know why I'm getting sick so often. I want to do work. I want to be that guy who's always on time. I want to be. You no, know, I. I need to be the guy who's always on time. That does what he says. Finishes all his work. I need to be a completionist. But what am I doing? I'm fucking around. I'm getting sick out of blue. I'm blaming on some sewage. What the fuck am I doing, man? What the fuck am I doing in my life? You know, I. I, I thought about this often, and it fucked me up. Think about it, but actually genuinely fucked me up. I'm dead serious, guys. But like, have my actions been congruent with the idea of me becoming a millionaire? Have my actions shown that I want to be a millionaire and I really need to be a millionaire and, you know, I'm gonna make all that money, etc, etc. No, they haven't. And I hear Iman Gaji say things like, one to two years, two to three years of consistently working hard on yourself is enough to break free but you have to be consistent and I think to myself have I been consistent? no fuck no and I want to be consistent, I don't want to be a fucking spurg I don't want to be some loser or homo day he can more need but that's what, I'm, that's what I'm showing and I'm finding this demon in my head instead of just getting on with work I should just uh, be doing in the first place it's fucking me up man I'm about to lay in this bed again like a pussy instead of working when all I want to do is work. Oh, you're overworking yourself, overworking yourself. Bitch, the whole point is overworking. So you can achieve what you want to achieve. Yes, I work until from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. 100% productive day. I'm not used to it, but I, I try to do it. And that probably results in me being sick and ill and weak. That's what I want. In lieu of a better tomorrow. And is it going to be better tomorrow? No! Same wall, same place, same pillow, same bed. Fuck! If I became a millionaire, none of these issues would pervade me. My voice is a bit deeper and raspier. Everything. I want to be rich. But I haven't been showing anything and it's fucking me up, bro. Just get money in a life worth living. The process of getting money would ideally and most likely make you in, in, into an individual that's capable of something. And I, when you become capable of something, when you become skilled, when you become powerful and, get, and you get to money, because money is power, bro, that process turns you into a, a, a man or a, a, a free thinking individual. And a life worth living could constitute you focusing on your mental health, your physical health what you eat, what you do in your life. That's what I mean. It's an intensely misunderstood statement. And it fucks me up. Because these people don't know. And they remain sad in the same place, like I am, like I was. I'm not even sad anymore, I'm just pissed. I want to get up and do work. I, ha I would have had sparring today. It's Thursday. I would have had an immense amount of work to do. I would have had a package to collect. I, I, I have shit to do in my life. I have a toilet seat to change. I had videos to edit. I'm finally getting back into the rhythm of editing. And what am I doing? Being ill. What the fuck, man? I can't throw it. <laughs> All my strength left my body. Oh. My temper feels heavy. Oh, 
I want to be free. You know, I need to change what I think and say from want to need. And I do change it. And there's only incremental change thereafter. I mean, at least there is change. But then that change quickly dissipates. It's going back to being a want because of all this self improvement credit. Like, you know, it's like self improvement porn. It's like, um, it, it, self improvement videos become instant gratification if you just consume them all day. And that's the truth that a lot of self improvement YouTube channels preach, but they still create videos. You still get addicted to them. And you still get nowhere in your life. And it's fucking, oh man. What I can do is like, at this moment, all I can think to myself is, oh, I hope this YouTube channel does well. Bitch, why do I need to hope that this YouTube channel does well? Why can't I just put all the effort I can possibly into this YouTube channel? Make all the shorts, TikToks, clips, make all the courses, make all this, make all that. And... <laughs> actually become successful. Whoa! Fuck, man. For example, I could... Make a bunch of videos and then sell my course on how to be more disciplined, how to be how have an iron mind, for like a hundred, two hundred, and I'll show you my journey, etc., etc., my battles, and then these videos as well, and then I'll show you what I'm doing now, and then all the results I've made so far, and my thousands of YouTube videos, and my fucking my immaculate sales ability, me closing me closing clients, thousand dollar clients, two thousand dollar clients, five thousand, ten thousand dollar a month clients, I do ten of those. I get 100k a month. And I sell my course as well. I'm earning money off of that as well. Why am I not doing that? And why is my voice getting deeper as I go on? I'm pissed. I'm legitimately angry. I shouldn't be in this position. I should be much in a, I should be in a much better position. And all I can do is just introspect. Like, I, I, I put the laptop on. My eyes get fried. No, I don't want a laptop. I want to read books, can't read books, eyes are fried, my brain feels like it's about to melt. I can't do that. Anytime I try to push the envelope and I put a push myself, I just get injuries, I get sick, I get lazy, I get complacent, I get this, this, that, and it fucking pisses me off, bro. I'm in the prime time of my life, I'm 17 years old. I'm only 18 very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. Hey Siri. Oh, no, no, internet. Hey Google. Hey Google. How many days left until the 10th of July? How many days left until the 10th of July? 53 days. It used to be 66. In 53 days, I turned 18. It used to be 66 days. Then I'm a young adult. I'm getting pressure on my, my, my mom, my family. Oh, you, you're gonna have something to do, my then. You're 18, almost 18, you got nothing achieving, achieving in your life. And I'm like, yeah, it's true. Like, what the fuck can I do to achieve something in my life? Go to school? And fucking flop there? Or get really good grades and a really good job? I don't even like it, it's unfulfilling. It doesn't pay, doesn't feel like it pay me enough? The fuck? She got me fucked up, man. She got me fucked up. I don't know my skipping rope is. I don't even know where that shit is. I don't want to lay down. I don't want to lay down. I'm legitimately serious. I I'm sick. I and my voice is getting raspy and deep as we speak. I got a raging headache. I might take some painkiller. And I don't want to sit down. Did he be there for
With YouTube, yes, I have 200 videos. Are they well edited? No. Oh, don't lay down. <laughs> I look at the rough. I look puffy. Oh. I was like, get some exercise. I'm like, oh, I wish. screaming me to lay down I spent a year plus perhaps coming on my coming up nearly on my Second year, two years at home, doing nothing, almost. Yes, I made content, yes, I done this, yes, I done that. But, regardless, from, on paper, it looks like I've got two years, I've done nothing. My business hasn't been, it's the ultra set the point where it has given me a lot of insight how I, I am in life, and stuff, and stuff, and stuff, but it hasn't given me enough income, and I'm not hungry enough, I, I should be trying to sell more, for more online, promote more online, finish my website. Fuck, if I was faster, if I was more industrious, then I could do it. I could sell my stock. I could get it off my head. And after of that, I can put full effort into the YouTube course development. So I said, well, reading more books. Fuck man. I've read all the books. Sampling books, Tommy Habits, Money Up Fast Lane, No 4 Hour Work Week. And they have helped me with the environment aspects. And uh, make it an attractive aspect, but at the end of the day, it's up to me. I don't know what to say. Shit, got me fucked up. Shit, got me fucked up. Again, bro. Oh my god. Look at my cat, though.